Hello friends, Ashish here from Guiding Tech and today I'll show you how you can transfer WhatsApp data from iPhone to Android while switching your phone. Now iPhone uses iCloud backup while Android uses the Google Drive and therefore things are not too easy while you are transferring the data. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. The first thing that you have to do is connect the iPhone to the computer and launch iTunes. Now if you don't have iTunes installed on your PC, the links are provided in the description of this video. And once that's done, open up your iTunes and then open up the iPhone view. Here, create a local backup of the device and make sure it is not encrypted. This step will take some time depending upon the data and storage of your iPhone. So let me just quickly skip to the completion of this step. Next, you'll have to download iPhone Backup Browser and extract the files to your computer. Desktop would be perfect. I will provide you the links again in the description of this video so that you can download the file easily. Once the tool launches, click on the drop down button that you see at the top and select the iPhone backup that you just created via iTunes. Now the next step is a bit tricky. First of all, click on the three dot that you see on the top of the tool and then extract the file chatstorage.sqlite. Now to extract this file, click on the top right hand side icon and it will be extracted default to the C drive template folder. Now this is the file that has all the text backup of your WhatsApp conversation from iPhone. If you wish to make media backup also, search for the group net.whatsapp.whatsapp and then select and extract everything under the library media section. Please look closely what I have done in the video as this is important. The data will be extracted to C drive temp folder again and while the data is being extracted, the program will show up as not responding and it will also hang. Now this is completely normal so just wait for the program to respond and that is when the process will finish. Once all the data is extracted, connect your phone to the computer and transfer it to your Android's internal memory. Next, download and install WhatsApp Migrator app from Android. The app is available for $2.99 and can also extract media file as well as the database file. Now, depending upon the backup size, the extraction might take some time but it should not exceed 2 hours. But still, make sure that you support the developer if the app helps you. After you launch the app, it will automatically detect the database. But you need to manually browse for the media folder for the app to recognize it. Once everything is in place, tap on the play button and wait for the app to create a WhatsApp backup file that can be used by WhatsApp on your Android. Again, it will take time to complete this process as well. Finally, all you need to do now is install the official WhatsApp app and restore the local data while verifying your phone number. And this is not the first time you're using WhatsApp on your Android. It might ask you to restore the cloud backup from Google Drive. To remove that option, open up Google Drive on your computer, then navigate to the settings that is on the top right hand side and remove the WhatsApp app access from the application database. Now the WhatsApp will have all the messages but then it will not show up the contacts and for that you need to transfer the contacts from your iPhone to Android. Now don't worry we have already done a separate video on that that you can click on the top right hand side and have a look. So friends that's it. The process is a bit complicated but then you can always uh, come out to us with your doubts and we'll help you through our comment section. And if the video has helped you please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. This is Ashish from Guiding Tech and until next time take care and have a wonderful day.